We got fan mail. You want to sing the song? Here's the mail. It never fails. Makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Fan mail. Fan mail. It's very exciting. It is. Intro time. When she's ready. I'm ready. Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I'm Michael. I'm Kendall. This might be kind of a little bit shorter video, but we got some fan mail from, you know her in the comments as Krypton K. We know her as Karen. She's awesome. She emails us. We talk back and forth and she sent us something. Yeah, she's probably one of our biggest supporters and we really appreciate her support and her fandom. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to call it, but she sent us some mail. So we thought that we would do a video for it and just show you guys what she sent us. We don't know what's in here. So here we go. If I can figure out how to open it. So much for being a short video because Kendall's going to try to figure out how to open this package. Okay. Do it mystery style. Oh, do we get a card? Yeah. Aww. So the card says box pop and beauty. Aw. Card. Oh, <laughs> little makeup person. So we've been talking back and forth about like makeup brushes and hair products and stuff really like that, inside. which is something that I'm, you know, into. So that's been really fun. Uh, yes, into. Um, oh, and I did, I did share some makeup brushes with her. I sent her some. Um, that I don't use, um, have never used, I should clarify. And, um, cause she has a lot that she's never used. <laughs> yeah. And I knew that Karen would probably get some good use out of them. Side note, we sold some locally, probably sold over a hundred brushes and she still has a lot of brushes. Yeah. If you want any brushes, I've got, I think 62 left. That I'm selling. 62 so. left and we've sold over 100. Yeah, I had a few. I had to make more room for more. So, anyway, her card says, Hi, Kendall. I want to thank you for the awesome makeup brushes. I've been using them every day. I really enjoy your videos. Take care, Karen. She has nothing to say to you. Not me. <laughs> I'm just here for the looks. There's a couple little things in here, so this is really exciting. All right, let's open it up. This is the first thing. Oh, there's two things in this little package. Whoa. Oh, it's it's one thing. Oh, it's, That's for me! Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. That is so cool. That So I know that Karen is a humongous fan of that movie of um nightmare for christmas it's and actually little fun fact it's one of the animations that kendall can actually get through yeah she has struggled it's a little bit of animation. a struggle for me but i can make it through it oh my god i love it so much karen look it's a little dog house with zero. Oh my gosh this is Show them what Zero looks like when he's out of Does the doghouse. Does he house. glow? He might do something because he's got like a little... I don't know if he does anything. I don't want to hurt him. Because he's got... Look, he's got like a little shiny butt. Yeah, he might. Oh, it's maybe just to make him look like he's floating. But look at Zero. Jump on the side, yeah. Isn't he adorable? And look, he's got... It says Zero in his little house. And he goes in his little house. That is going on my shelf in our room, Karen. That's awesome. Don't knock that off the table, Xerxes. Okay, next thing. That's so cool. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, this is awesome. So this is a bracelet. I was going to see if it said anything on it about what it is, but um, this is a bracelet. This is beautiful. I love this. I'm definitely going to wear this. Uh, it's a bracelet of little skulls, and they look like they're marble. Yeah, this is definitely Kendall. And it's her colors, teal. Yeah, white, teal black. is one of my favorite colors, so that is really it's awesome. Like I love it. 
That's really cool. Yeah, I will definitely wear that. In fact, I'll probably take it with us when we go. Yeah, for Comic-Con. To Comic-Con. And then this is the last thing in here. I don't know what it is, but it's a square of some kind. Oh my gosh, this is incredibly exciting. It's a tarot deck. Oh, that's super cool. So I have been wanting and wanting and wanting a tarot deck. She actually wants to start a tarot deck collection. I, so I do. This I, is her first deck in her collection. This is my first deck. I'm so excited. It's unopened. It's still in its... What's the... Plastic. Oh, it's cool that the first one... So it's actually kind of meaningful. The first one, the card on here is universe wow that actually has some meaning to kendall which is pretty cool this is really cool the alistair crowley thoth tarot deck side note crowley is one of my favorite characters from supernatural so that's also cool yeah and this goes over how to use the cards and what the cards mean like depending on you know getting the card what it means so that is really, really interesting. There's I actually will... some information on the side here about this Alistair Crowley. It says Alistair Crowley was born October 12th, 1875, and he joined the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn in 1898, rising rapidly through the grades of the order. Crowley poured the entire contents of his magical mind into his tarot deck. Neither Crowley nor the artist of the Thoth tarot deck, Lady Frida Harris managed to publish tarot deck during their lifetimes. Crowley died in 1947 and Lady Harris died in 1962. The Thoth tarot deck remained unpublished until 1969. It's pretty cool. That is cool. And it even tells you, take the cards in your left hand with the right hand, hold the wand over them, or simply hold the right hand over them and say... Blah, blah, blah. It tells Don't you, say it yet. No. It tells you exactly what to say, exactly how to do it, how to read them. So this is very cool and very special. Yeah, I'm definitely really... going to be using these, and I'm going to be bringing them on our trip so that I can do some tarot on our trip and hopefully start getting good at this. But um, I want to show you guys what these cards look like, so maybe Michael can show you. I'll try to avoid the glare a little bit here. But that's really cool. I love the idea of starting a tarot card collection that is even used tarot cards. Just energies from different people. Yeah. And just like collecting that all into one collection of cards. Um, I don't know. And making just a fat deck. I love yeah, there's that There's a little idea. bit more on here. So on the other side, it says sometimes several versions of the same card in the Crowley deck were painted by Lady Frida Harris. To achieve the desired effect, this edition of Crowley's Toth Tarot deck includes the original three versions of the Magnus the Magician card. An original essay written by Lady Frida Harris is reproduced in the instruction booklet that accompanies the deck. The essay provides unique insight into the artist and her interpretations of the tarot of Crowley. Very cool. Thank you so much, Karen. Look how beautiful this card is. Okay, I just want to show one card. This card is called the Aeon, I guess. But just look how beautiful that card is. Yeah, the art on these is really cool. Nice cards. Yeah. That's an awesome gift. This is very meaningful and this, special. Thank you. I know she likes her tarot deck, but this is probably the coolest thing you sent us. <laughs> yeah, so we love... We love fan mail. Thank you so much for sending yeah, this to us. Yeah, thank you. This was awesome. Um, our first fan mail ever, and it was such a hit. So yes, this is. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Anybody wants to send us anything? We have all of our information. Our PO box is down below. Our camera's freaking out. I don't know what it's, it's the focusing tarot. on. It's focusing on something. Not us. I don't know what it's focusing on. It wasn't focusing on you either. Anyway. Down below is all of our information. If you want to send us anything. If you want to reach out to us via email. 
It's also down in the comments below, but it's super easy. It's just boxpoppinbeauty at gmail.com. And we will write you back. We write back as much as we can. We try to keep up on it. And uh, yeah, until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, notification bell. Leave a comment. Tell us what you guys think about this awesome fan mail. We appreciate the hell out of you watching this video. Let me pick a card. Give Karen a thank you down below. You're not going to get your with a card? Yeah. All right, I'll one. cheers with the wine. Wait, I got to pick one. I'll pick this one. Three, two, one, go. Bye, everybody.